If you could see how my tripod is balancing right now, you'd call the police. <laughs> And just get rid of that on you and an ambulance oh hi everyone so i am finally going to film an undercut update for all y'all who have been requesting it you're getting it this video is just going to contain pros cons and basically how i wear my hair every day just so that you can get a bit of inspiration and just see how you would deal with wearing an undercut first one is this little shindig i just made this up today kind of feel like harley quinn i just put my hair up in two little piggy pigs and twisted it and like straightened it down the way so it was all curly and cool i would have thought that i felt like a two-year-old but i actually feel like really sophisticated and fancy at the moment i have got a little bit of like art <laughs> on my undercut because my sister's a hairdresser she wanted to do a little bit of like there's like a triangle at the back like that's a bit longer i don't know whether you'll be able to see it but hey ho so hopefully <laughs> right now you can see what i'm talking about so i've got like a triangle like i don't know can you see that i don't know <laughs> i've regraded it about six times since i had it done my hair grows fairly quickly so i have had to grade it a few times uh, and one of the problems i have encountered while i've been regrading it is that I've dyed my hair since I first got it done so it is a different colour to the rest of my head it's not a huge difference and I think it doesn't look stupid but it is noticeable people love to touch it I love to touch it just everyone who like knows me they're just like oh very tactile and fun obviously it's a lot easier to put your hair up as I said in the first video because you've got less hair if you curl it kind of often like I do or straighten it there is less to straighten and curl so it is a little bit more time saving your hair dries quicker as well that's not like a huge thing but if you're lazy like me and you can never be bothered to wash your hair in the morning I always do it at night where I'm like oh I've got to do it or else I'm not gonna have time tomorrow I hate going to bed with wet hair so usually I can just like shake it all around and it'll be dry within maybe half an hour because i don't really like blow dry my hair either so if you just let it air dry it takes a lot less time i used to do quite a lot of like braids and stuff that like wrapped around my head obviously i can't do that anymore um so you are a tiny bit limited and sometimes certain styles do look a bit unsuitable for an undercut I did try and do a braid like just above the undercut but it kind of looked like i'd like put a wig or like it was like i'd put like a hat on top and like the rest of my head was shaved something that's, that's not affecting me now but i know will affect me is the growing out process i can just tell that it's really going to be getting to me when it's about this long and you can't do anything with it and it's just there like it's not even like a good feature it's just like what is that like is that a fashion statement or what obviously i'm gonna have to combat that when it gets to that point but until then i'm just not gonna worry about it because or else i'm just gonna get all oh, pooey about having like silly length hair on the back of my head but oh well that's my problem you've probably already noticed but i have also cut a fringe in since the last video i've always had full fringes throughout my life just thought you know what do it again so dee 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 wow now let's get on with the hairstyles. <laughs> so as you've been seeing, pigtails is obviously an option that I'm gonna go for from now on because I really liked how that looked. But the easiest thing you can do is just wear it down, let it all hang out. You know, you can just tuck it behind your ears, do anything with it that you want. And depending on the thickness of your hair, you probably aren't even gonna be able to see the undercut. So if I'll just turn around, you can kind of not see anything. It's just like, a secret. If you're like flicking, flicking your hair around, then people are gonna see it. If you want them to, obviously, you're gonna have an undercut, so you're gonna want people to see it. But when your hair's down, you know, it's just easily concealable if you want it to be concealed. Another super duper easy idea is just doing like half up, half down, like just a little flippy flop on the top of your hair and obviously this can be changed into a top knot I want my hair to be nice and textured and like messy so just pull bits out 
and then leave half of that down. And again, this is another style that you can use to conceal an undercut, so you still can't see anything back there, but you've still got a little bit of something something going on up here so it's not completely boring. Right, I've decided I'm not going to walk through each one and talk through it, I'm just going to showcase some styles. So cue the montage. All in all, I really think that if someone's looking for a change and they want to like kind of reinvent themselves but without having too drastic a change, then an undercut really is something that you should think about because as you could see from all the different hairstyles I was showing you, it is something that is very easily concealed however you wear it. I always think it's a confidence booster because you're like, wow, this is like something different. Um, not many people have them, but when you see someone that's got one, you're like, hey, it's like part of a little club. Even if the growing up process is hard, I think it's worth it because it is really exciting to experiment with new ways of wearing your hair, to see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and just basically just experimenting and just having a good time. It's going to be easier to do your hair, so whether you have really thick hair or whether you struggle with heat in the summer having thick hair, then it's always, always going to have benefits for everyone, whether it be in the practical side of things or in the creative side. For all of the people that requested this uh, like months ago, I really hope that it was worth the wait. Sorry it took me so long to do it, I think I just needed to wait for a certain amount of time to know like what I was talking about, because obviously if I did it a couple weeks after doing my undercut, then you're not really going to get much of an insight <laughs> into what having an undercut is like. So. I hope that you're not too angry that I left it this long, but yeah, like I said, I hope it was worth the wait and that you've learned something and that maybe, just maybe, you'll consider getting an undercut yourself. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye!